Hello everyone, here is another example for finding the x-intercept and the y-intercept for this linear equation. Okay, this equation is not written in the standard form. So what we are going to do is that we can either just write it in the standard form first, or we can simply still just use the same idea as the, the method that I showed in the last video. So we can just cover one of the terms and then we can find the intercept really easily. Okay, so let's get started. So first, if we want to find the x-intercept okay and then what happens basically the idea is that we are going to set the y equal to zero right so that's what we are going to do so set y equal to zero what does that mean that is basically saying that this turn is just going to we just cover that up right so you can just cover that up with your your hand and then now you can see that the equation is given to you like this so we have two equals three x and then all we need to do is to figure out the x and then we can find the x in the set so right now what happens is that we can uh isolate the x by dividing both sides by three so we can divide both sides by three and then what do we get here we can see that those will get cancelled so we are left with just x on the right side of the equation and then the left side of the equation is just two over three so now what is the x-intercept the x-intercept is two over three because that is the x value right and then the y value would be zero in this case so our x-intercept for this equation is two over three zero now Going back to this equation, if we want to find the y-intercept, okay, and then what's going on here? We are going to set x equal to zero. In this case, when we set x equal to zero, that means this term will disappear. So now when it disappears, then you can actually just assume that that is a zero. Is that okay? So now what happens is that we are going to just write down the equation. So 5y plus 2 is equal to zero. See, it's really just that simple. And all we need to do right now is to solve a y in this equation. This is a simple equation to solve a y, so that's quite easy. So we can subtract two from both sides of the equation. And then what happens is that we can uh, cancel those two. So we are going to just get 5y on the left side of the equation. And then zero minus two is what? It's negative two. So now we need to divide both sides by five so that we can get rid of the phi in front of the y, right? So we get phi, uh, y, right? And then negative two over five. Okay, so that is the y value. And then we can now write down the y-intercept. So um, the x value for the y-intercept, it will be zero here. And then what about the y value is negative uh, two over five. And so that's it for this problem. And then next time we are going to talk about how to write a linear equation in the slope-intercept form. So stay tuned, I will see you next time.